configuration or policy to receive default routes only. So if you have this kind of setup where you have R1 and R2 and they are both connected to the internet and uh, you know in this case the LAN subnet would be 192.168.2 the 21.0 slash 24 um, you actually would want to just receive or you prefer to receive the default route only like default routes only so what you are going to do is actually configure a prefix list and just permit the default route which is this and then you can also I mean you can create a route map and then match the prefix list you know in this case the default the default only prefix list and apply it inbound to the neighbor so in this case the neighbor is this 192.168.31.3 so this is how you actually configure uh, in this case switch I mean in this case R1 to only receive the default route and you will have the same uh, configuration on R2 so same the only difference is of course the neighbor neighbor and you also do, would want to just uh, advertise uh, your local uh, prefix or local route in this case so in this case you know I have I have this prefix list which is permitting this you know uh, this local route and I have created a a route map uh, matching that prefix list which is local only and I applied it applied it outbound to the neighbor so in this case I applied it you know let me go show you the config I mean the topology so the neighbor is so this is ISP1 so I applied it outbound so I can I also have a policy outbound um, and this is the same scenario with R2. The only difference is the only difference is of course the neighbor, which is ISP1, and of course I set a AS path prepending in this case, or just prepending. AS prepending. So let me just actually do a uh, trace route from PC1 going to this IP here trace route so as you can see it's going through R1 which is you know dot one or 192.168.21.1 and ISP1 which is dot one dot thirty one dot three and it gets to the it gets to R six which is dot sixty three dot four. So the trace route is looking good. It's preparing the link that we wanted to uh, traverse. Let me actually go to R six and also show you that R six will trace this path here ISP1 R1 and it gets to des destination which is PC1 so trace route 192.168.21.100 so as you can see it traverses ISP1 yeah, this IP address and then R1 
the dot thirty one dot one and then it gets to the destination which is PC one. So let me show you the the uh, the IP route the routing table on R1. So as you can see I'm only receiving this uh, default route via ISP1. So I'm not receiving <coughs> any other routes from ISP1. Uh, I'm also I'm also receiving receiving this here, which is coming from R2. I think that would be okay. Yeah. So if I let's say trace route, let's say trace route ISP2. So it will get it will go to yeah R2 and then to ISP2. Let me see from PC1. Let me see if I can trace 192.168.42.4. So it looks like <laughs> okay, so it looks like it went to R1 and then from R1 to R2 and then it gets to the destination. So the the IP routing table on R1 is uh, seems okay. So this is fine. So let me go to R2 and just check the routing table as well. So in this case, in this case, <clears throat> I'm only receiving the default route from ISP2 as well. So let me check R1 again. Okay, let me show you the configuration of BGP. It's the configuration of BGP on R1, and this is the configuration on actually, this is the BGP configuration on uh, R2. So, what else can we check here? Yeah, we can also advertise the this here actually, but I think that's fine. So yeah, that's it. That's how you can uh, set up a policy inbound so that you only receive the default route, not the entire internet routing table. So yep, that's it in this video. Thanks for watching.